Hello and welcome to another Maxi Shine video. Today we're going to be looking at LCD Studio, uh, free software you can get online. I will upload it to my website, maxishine.com.au downloads. And I'll also upload the plugins that I'll mention later. And we'll go ahead and start off with a uh, new design. Just clicking new. You come up with this screen that represents the LCD that you're working on. Let's say the G15 or the Z10 speakers. So that'll be a nice empty screen. Down here you have three tabs. Toolbox with all your little um, things like Winamp, graphs, pie charts, text. Now yeah, use for text if you want to just type something. The middle one, data view. This is all the information. This is your system specs. So um, if there's stuff that's not here that you have, you have to add in the plugins. For example, Everest. And that's the plugin you have to actually paste in the LCD Studio folder, the plugin folder. Once you've pasted the Everest plugin, because that pretty much gives me everything I need in terms of um, information, you go to Tools, Options, the first tab is Plugins, and Everest should come up. It'll be unticked that's at the start, so you just tick it like that, and just close that. Uh, you can open up Everest after you've finished. You've got all the information here. For example, let's say uh, your GPU temp, you just drag that in. It's a pretty ugly font. So you can just double click it. Down the bottom it says My Text. Actually, we want to change the font here. We're on Arial Black. We'll click this little tab. We'll change it to um, just Arial Narrow maybe. It's a bit easier to read. Nope. Change it to maybe just Arial. Got a lot of fonts here. Arial, there we go. Okay. 38. That's my GPU temperature at the moment. So we can just put that wherever we want. We'll just maybe start off at the bottom. Now we'll go back to Toolbox. Because we want to type something. I we'll clicked on the A button, which is text. Double click that. Re edit it. We'll just say GPU. Okay. Can you drag that down to here? Put the 38 next to it. And maybe add a little C or an F depending where you're from for Celsius or Fahrenheit in Australia we use Celsius so I'll just put that little C there very straightforward now we've got uh, GPU temperature we'll just do another one we'll grab uh, maybe the CPU as well which is on a high 45 uh, I can copy and paste things now so copy and paste the C and stick that there GPU copy and paste Type CPU. C. No, doesn't want to type. Shift C. That's all right. Okay, we've got CPU temp now. So you can maybe put that just on top of it. Line them up how you like. You can spend a lot of time on this. It's really fun. You can have it looking really cool. There we go. We've got some system information here now already. Go back to Toolbox. Um, you've got different types of graphs. You can uh, put them in and they show load, like a load graph or something like that. You get something, a line coming across. We'll go and put some, um, we're going to put the memory usage. So all you have to do is double click that to get the editing information up here. And the first one here is data item. Just click on that, you get this little tab. Now whatever you find here will work in that graph. So we're going to go to system information. If I can find that, there you go. Open that up. Memory. Now down here you can see memory in use. You can just click on that. OK. Now, yep. This big white line will start coming across. That's a big fat line and it doesn't look good. So we'll change draw mode bars to lines. That's a line. You can see that. That will continuously change according to how you're using the computer. Just copy and paste this to see what this actually is. Double click on that and we'll just type in mem percentage so we know what we're looking at. I can sit on top of that. You can type in pretty much whatever you want. Oh, I'll just go right maxishine.com.au and when you type something very long it'll scroll like that so you can type pretty long sentences and they'll just scroll backwards and forwards 
you don't want it to scroll, you're going to have to enlarge this outer box till it fits. It's pretty big there. Maxishrine.com.au. I mean, these are all pretty ugly fonts at the moment. You can fix all that up. Now, as this is happening, it's actually showing it on the G15. So you can see it looks a lot nicer on the LCD than it does in the software. Um, pretty much any information you, you want, you can get from here. Speed fan I haven't got installed, so nothing will be here. But once you add the plugin, you get all the information, Winamp or anything like that. Once you've done, you just do File, Save, Save As, or Save to Desktop. As, uh, I already saved an old one, I'll save it over it. Current PC. Double click that. Do you want to replace it? Yep. Now that's saved. It's still showing, displaying it on my keyboard. What you're going to have to do now is create a playlist. So just go to New, Set of Design, just under it says Playlist. This will come up here, and you just click the Add button. And we're going to have to find what we just saved, which is still on the desktop, Current PC. Double click that. It'll come up here. And double click it again. And click Apply. Okay. Now what we have to do is file, exit, and run from Trover. And once you've done that, it's pretty much finished. Now what you have to do is go to the LCD, LCD icon in your Trover and exit it from there. Because otherwise if you restart the computer, you lose all your settings. Also from here, if you just go to options again, you've got a startup tab here. Click on that. Make sure you click load at startup. Startup mode. You can put it on tray bar, so the program doesn't open every time. The playlist here, this is where you have to find what you just saved. So you just go and find that wherever you saved it on the desktop. And pretty much it. Then you exit it. Pretty straightforward program.